Hello and welcome back to Nerd Doc. In this video we're going to cover what we expect the Peacemaker Season 2 release date to be, and some theories on where we think the Season 2 plot is heading. There will be spoilers for Season 1 and Peacemaker. We'll start with what we expect from Season 2, then jump into when we expect it to release. There are chapter timestamps below, so you can jump around if you'd like. If you have any ideas for Peacemaker Season 2, leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts. Right now there isn't a lot of information available about Peacemaker Season 2, but we'll cover what we do know. James Gunn has confirmed that a second season of Peacemaker is coming to HBO Max. He will be writing and directing every episode of the new season, which is expected to be 8 episodes just like the first season and many other HBO Max shows. James Gunn wrote every episode of the first season but only directed 5 of the episodes, since he's now directing all of the season 2 episodes that can only be considered a good thing. Gunn used really obscure DC characters in Suicide Squad in the first season of Peacemaker, so it's difficult to predict which characters will show up in season 2, but it's safe to say the surviving members of the main cast will return. This includes Peacemaker, Harcourt, Economist, Vigilante, and Autobio, with Harcourt likely leading the team. The only questionable one out of that group is Autobio, Amanda Waller's daughter, because she betrayed her mother and outed Waller's entire operation at the end of the first season. So while it's hard to see Gunn dropping her, if any one of the surviving team members from the first season wasn't going to make it to season 2, it would be her. At this early stage, no scripts have been written, but it's unlikely the new season will see much fallout from the events of season 1. Peacemaker and his team will probably have to deal with some of Waller's rage, and may even lose all support from her in the end, but any new missions they take on likely won't be related to the alien invasion from season 1. What will carry over into the second season is Peacemaker's new Dark Passenger. He will keep seeing visions of his father as he likely struggles to overcome the psychological trauma that he experienced as a child and continue to deal with throughout the first season. We expect him to overcome this trauma near the end of the second season, possibly with the help of Adebayo or even Hardcore. As far as release timing goes, it's going to be a little bit of a wait. Since James Gunn is writing and directing every episode, production can't move forward very far until he's available. He's currently filming Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and the Holiday Special. Volume 3 won't release until May 2023, and Gunn will be working on post-production, reshoots, and press for Guardians 3 toward the end of this year and most of next year leading up to the release. He may have time to write scripts, but it's safe to assume he won't get far into production until after Guardians 3 releases. Even if he hits the ground running in June 2023, we won't see it hit HBO Max until at least mid to late 2024. It's too far off to pin down an exact date, but the end of 2024 or early 2025 is likely. While Gunn does have a second HBO Max series in the works that will be based on another Suicide Squad character, that show hasn't been greenlit by HBO Max just yet. Given the success of Peacemaker, it's very likely Season 2 will take precedence over the other HBO Max series. If for some reason the other series moves forward first, don't expect Peacemaker Season 2 until at least 2026. Once again, it's unlikely the other series happens first, but in the event of scheduling conflicts or any other unforeseen issues, that would be the rough timeline. That wraps up this video. Stay tuned to Nerd Doc for updates on Peacemaker Season 2 over the next couple years. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with someone who loves Peacemaker.